Welcome to Dundark. And welcome back to Carpe Diem Reboot. So I've heard there's two endings to this game. I thought what I would do is, just like in Steins Gate Zero, I'll do my first playthrough completely blind, get whatever ending I'll get, and then for the sec- I'll go back and get the ending I didn't get the first time. Seems pretty fair, right? Um, and I'll look up how to do that. But that I think that's the best way to go about this in a reasonable amount of time. So, let's get back to the arcade here. I think I'm gonna stay with I. I don't know about leaving her by herself in the arcade with a bunch of people she sort of knows, you know. You know, you gotta be- you gotta protect her, you know? Protect. You can't just attack all the time. So yeah, so we're gonna stay at the arcade here. Nah. I- I don't feel comfortable leaving I alone in a place like this. I don't know if this will give me the good ending because I'm protecting I, or it'll give me the bad ending because I'm leaving I, you know, I'm not giving her enough independence, I don't know, but we'll see, we'll see. We'll see how this turns out. Okay, uh, we'll see you later then. Yep. Yep. Yume walks out of the arcade and I'm left with I again. Did Yume leave? Oh, I was wearing the little, like, uh, little head band. It's not a headband, it's a ribbon. You know what I mean. Did you not hear her goodbye just now? No! Oh man, I miss her! It, it has been seven seconds. We're seven seconds of my life! Young, play with me! No, I'm good. <laughs> you can try, you can continue talking to your friends and I will continue trying not to suffocate. No! I demand attention! Understandable. We're finally somewhere fun together! Live in the moment, dude! Ugh. Okay, fine. But don't cry when I do better than you. She drags me from one machine to another, giving me a tour-like description of each about how she played it with Yume and all. She challenges me every time, and I win more often than not. I'm surprisingly doing better, even the ones that require physical skills. Even on the ones that require physical skills. She won't stop until she wins at least one round against me, but I'm so into it, I... It, it to give away e victory easily. Oh, he doesn't want to give her a win, of course, you know. Um, I, I guess, I mean, why would I have great physical reflexes and stuff? I mean, she was kind of, well, not born yesterday, but you know what I mean. Uh, by the time Yume comes back, we have played on almost every machine in the arcade. Hey, I'm back. Welcome back, Yume. Yume! Hi. Young. <laughs> Donkey. <laughs> the, the two give me a quick, you ruined the moment stare. Let's head out now. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, good idea. Three dots. Young. <laughs> Go, can we play that shooting game again? And, uh, and Young calls, uh, you know, Young calls I the one that demands attention. I mean, jeez. I'm pretty good at it now. I think I figured out the ultimate strategy. The ultimate strategy. I is it shoot everything? Yes. Even with that flawless strategy, I doubt you'd be able to beat me. Oh, it's on. Yeah, I'll just, uh, wait here. Thanks for the invite, though. Chill out, kid. I'm sure they have a few games more suitable for your skill level somewhere around here. You like whack-a-mole, don't you? Yep, I love whack-a-mole. My favorite part is when the mole part pops up and you're supposed to whack it. <laughs> Young has a sense of humor. I and Yume head off to fight their final battle, and both of them take up arms, looking surprisingly determined. In fact, we look more like enemies than best friends right now. I knew I could get like this, but you may? That's a surprise. I guess she is a geek at heart, though. The rules of the game are simple. Kill the zombies before they get to the screen. Okay, you gotta shoot the zombies, that's fair. I guess they're competing to see who can kill the most zombies in a given amount of time. From what I can tell, you may have been beating I score nearly every time they play this game. Their high score is blocked out with Yume holding the top 10 highest numbers. Okay, what kind of high score screen lets you enter in a four-letter name? 
I mean, this is an arcade, right? You can only do three letters. I thought that's how it works. The game starts, and the first wave of zombies approaches. I'm, I'm sure there are arcade machines with longer than three-letter names, but yeah. Uh, I and Yume start unloading their weapons, and all the zombies are gone in, a, in the blink of an eye. The score is even as the next round begins. Of course it is. Uh, as the game continues, the amount of zombies increases over and over again. It seems like they're getting faster each round. That's how these kind of games work, yes. I'm actually quite interested in how this will turn out, so I quietly watch the fierce battle from behind them. The game goes on for a few more rounds and a crowd starts forming around the machine. Intrigued by an intense face-off between two attractive girls, the crowd gets fairly large very quickly. The 46th- oh my god, this has been going a while. This begins, uh, 46th wave begins, with the score still exactly matched, really. But at this point, Yume begins to fall behind. Oh no, poor Yume. It's close, but I shots are not losing any accuracy despite how fast the zombies are moving. Yume, unable to rack up as many headshots, starts to get frantic. Gla glancing over at I and seeing her perfect accuracy, Yume freezes up. In the 50th round, she is no longer to keep up, able to keep up with I, and the scores grow further and further apart. Accepting defeat, she surrenders, and the game ends. The crowd surrounding the machine erupts into applause for both girls. What the hell just happened? I told you I would beat you this time. You were literally aimbot. <laughs> <laughs> Me even playing this game is literally aimbot. Don't be salty. <laughs> this is what happens when I really focus on sighing. It's pretty unfair to tell you the truth. Unbelievable. It's not like humans can't do it. It's just really, 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 really hard for them to. Actually, now that I think about it, humans probably can't keep up after all. Hey, I'm not perfect. I start falling apart around the 80th wave. 80th? I can barely hit anything in the 50th. I think the problem is that I is just killing them before you can even fire your gun. Wow, I honestly feel disrespected right now. Aw, for you, May. Oh man, did I miss it? Uh, yeah, the, the, they, I mean, they played 46, I mean, I guess 50 rounds or whatever, I mean, you think you would have had enough time to come over to see the crowd and all that. Yo, Crump, what's cracking? Yo, Crump, what's cracking, guys? That's my, my new intro. Yo, Crumps, what's cracking? This is Dundark playing Carpe Diem Reboot. No, that, that, that's, that's awful. Uh, Somebody told me there were two girls going crazy on the zombie machine. I had no idea it would be two newbies. Two newbies, huh? And they're girls. Never underestimate the power of newbies, Crump. Too bad I didn't get to see it. Judging by the amount of people lined up, it must have been one hell of a match. Hell is an understatement. How about you, kid? Ain't playing? Me? Oh, who me? Uh, I'm, I'm good. No, not really in the mood. Well, he did play a bunch of games of I while Yume was gone, so... I mean, fair. Don't give me that. Lighten up, kid. Life is short. Play some games. He's a console gamer, Crump. Don't bother with him. <laughs> well, there you go. You should come here more often, kid. Beat sitting at home. Thanks for the invite, but maybe some other time. We need to get going. Is that so? Well, have fun, y'all. See you soon. See you soon, Crump. See you soon, Crump. That'll be my outro. Thanks for watching, and see you soon, Crump. <laughs> Yo, Crump, what's cracking? <laughs> Free from the clutches of Crump, we turn our backs and head home. After exiting the arcade, we begin making our way back to the apartment. Considering Yume's house is on the way, we decide to drop her off. That's fair. So, you really are a machine, aren't you? <laughs> I, I mean, if, if we're gonna get technical. What, me? Nope, 100% human. We've already established that humans can't play games at that level, though. I is at a loss for words. Well, uh, wait. Does this mean I shouldn't try as hard next time? Don't tease her, Yume. She can't handle the truth. Hey, why are you two suddenly teaming up against me? Especially you, Yume. I thought you were on my side. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm only kidding. Oh, Young, you it was work hitter. Over, by the way. 
Oh, you missed coming over. Oh, thanks for asking my permission. <laughs> In my defense, I told her to ask you last night. It's okay, right? Wasn't she... Oh, well, well, she was staying over. I was like, okay, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, it's, uh, fine. I just wish you would have told me earlier so I could, uh, clean up or something. Oh, don't worry about that. I don't mind. It's not like the place is ever dirty anyway. Uh, untidy is a better word for it. Oh, that reminds me. We need to start splitting the house chores. You're gonna earn your share if you plan on, on freeloading. That's fine. I probably would have done everything without a schedule either way. Yeah, you probably would have. I mean, Young isn't known for his, you know, uh... What's the word? Uh... You know the thing where you do things without people telling you to. I'm oh, tired. We should go buy groceries so we can cook something later too. Initiative, initiative, that's it, that's the word. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Since when do you know how to cook? Since last night. You may taught me. Oh, okay. That's baking, I. It's a little different. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Teach me how to cook today then. <laughs> well, first off, what do you want to cook? Yeah, that's true. If you want to cook something, you have to know what you're cooking. That depends, young. What? What do you want to eat for dinner? Something edible, preferably. Let's just buy a bunch of stuff and figure it out later, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. That's exactly how I want to spend all my money. <laughs> Three of us head over to a small grocery store on the way home. Without a specific recipe in mind, I starts grabbing one of every item she sees. We end up- oh, there's no comma there. We end up having- each having to carry four bag- four bags each? That's a lot of groceries. Ugh, so heavy. Can you carry some of these for me, young? No. This is your fault. Carry your own burden. Your place is just a few blocks away from here, right? Yeah, hopefully we can all last that long. My arms are numb by the time we get to the apartment. I drop off the bags as soon as I enter the room. I ended up carrying an extra two. One from Yume, one from I. So Young had, in the end, six bags, and Yume had three, and I had three. Okay. Math. Make yourself comfortable, I guess. Thanks, Young. I take out an old computer chair from the closet and dust it off for Yume to use. Dvorak. I'm sorry? No, no, uh, Dvorak keyboard. Yeah, one of those ones with the weird layout. One. Oh, he has a Dvorak key keyboard? Oh, that's cool. Wait, so did I learn how to use Dvorak rather than QWERTY? Hmm. It's easier for me to use than a normal QWERTY keyboard. Wait, are these keyboards not the normal kind? I thought Yume's was just weird. Oh, oh, okay. Huh, that's interesting. You... You shouldn't be using other people's things in the first place. I was just trying to show off my skills, okay? I was showing me how she codes. How does I code? We came to the conclusion that she is definitely a better programmer than me. It's like a second language for her. But I thought you were the best programmer. That's what the rankings say. But there's it's more than one language. Three dots. No, no one laughs at my programming joke. Same. I love it when no one laughs at my programming jokes. It's so relatable. Ugh. So, are you proud of me, Young? Why would I be proud of you again? I beat Troy! I did it! <laughs> <laughs> Good old Troy. Eyes faces equipped with an extremely sat satisfied smug grin. Oh cool. That's uh, one com you all complete then. Good for you. Can't say I expected anything less. Why does that sound sarcastic? I guess your next goal is to beat Jung then, right? Yeah. Please, I don't have the time or energy for competitions. Speaking of which, I don't think I've ever seen any of your coding aside from my own, Young. That already says a lot, don't you think? Yeah, I kind of stopped when you came into the picture. Did you really create I just so you wouldn't have to work anymore? <laughs> Ah, uh, the best programmer is a lazy programmer. Everyone's supposed to clap now, because I made a programming joke that everyone likes. Yeah, 
He wanted a cute non-human slave to do all of his work so he could sit around all day and eat cake. Wow. No, that bites. You know me so well. Living the lazy way, I see. Lazy. I call it wise. People have been using other people to do their job for them for centuries. The only difference is that I don't have to pay I. Unfortunately for you, I'm now alive and conscious and the money you are making is technically mine. Yeah, super ecstatic about that. <laughs> what if I decided to run away with all of your money? What then? Uh, she wouldn't last one week. She's not even a citizen of this country. No ID, social security number, or nothing. She wouldn't even be able to rent a car. I don't think I look old enough to do that either way. That's a good point. Plus, can't I just walk into a government office and register myself or something? Uh, probably not the best idea. Honestly, I would love to see that. It's not every day that a robot walks into a municipal building and asks for an ID. In fact, now that I think about it, yep, I can confirm that something like that has never happened in the history of, well, history. Fair. I moves her body towards Yume as if she is demanding a correction to that last statement. Yume is unabashedly giggling. I'm not a robot. I'm not a robot. All right, all right. Sorry. Back to the topic at hand. Definitely don't ever, ever do something like that, I. Ugh, fine. So, what do you guys want to do? I'm probably gonna get some rest soon. Haven't you only been awake for like five hours? It's been that long already? This is how he lives, Yume. Eat, play, sleep. Every single day. You know me so well. I thought the whole point of last episode was that he she doesn't know him well enough, and then he, she was complaining about how he, Young doesn't tell her everything about himself and all that, but whatever. That just seems depressing. Yeah, don't worry. I'll get him into shape soon enough. Is that why you've been dragging him outside so often? Or are they gonna go to the gym? <laughs> That's part of it. Honestly, though, I just want to get out myself. And Young is the one that knows where things are. That reminds me, I wanted to show you something. I and you may start looking at stuff on the computer. Before I knew it, my mind drifts off and I fall asleep. Okay. Cool. I wake up to the sound of boiling water and laughter. Oh wait, come on, and then now we get a short day. And I cut off the episode early, last time. Jeez, oh my gosh. <sighs> I open my eyes, or I guess it's not. It was maybe that wasn't the end of the day, and I'm actually right in the end. Hmm. I open my eyes. Yume and I are in the kitchen. It looks like they started cooking when I fell asleep. I get out of bed to check on them. Oh, young, you're up. How was your nap? Uh, okay, I guess. How how long was I out for? A few hours. It's nighttime already. I can tell. Oh, really? Uh, I guess it's time for me to get back to sleep then. <laughs> Young! Sleep can wait. We're just about to finish cooking. And don't you want dinner, Young? Yeah, I see it. So, what's on the menu? Curry. It was Ai's idea. She even did most of the work. Really now? Yes, just you wait. I'll serve you the best curry you've ever had. Are you even mentally prepared to try something spicy, though? This would be your first time, right? I hear the first time is the hardest. Three dots. <laughs> Three dots. <laughs> Three dots. Uh, anyway, you may make sure I didn't add too many spices, so it should be fine. Awkward silence. I figured mild curry would be the safest bet. That's fair. Mild curry is usually not that bad. That's by definition, it is usually mild. That's that's how mild works. I set the table where we'll be eating. I'm slightly tempted to hop over dinner just to make sure it adheres to FDA standards, but I decide against it considering I needs to learn eventually. So wait, they're beholden by the FDA, which makes makes it so they're in America. Right. And they go to a highly populated arcade? Okay, well, whatever, whatever. It's 
whatever. Um, from failure comes greatness, right? God, help me. <laughs> After another hour or so, dinner is served. I sit still and wait a moment, so I will be the first one to taste your own cooking. That's fair. That, and I need to make sure it's actually safe to consume. Aww. That's cute. It's a cute CG. I, I like this art style more than the portraits, TBH. Maybe. Upon taking the first bite, uh, her eyes widen, and her face turns bright red. She quickly salt swallows the curry without chewing, and downs a glass of water. You're supposed to chew first, you know. Ah, hot! Like, temperature hot or spicy hot? Oh, oh, I, I thought they'd voice act that part. Now I'm worried. Uh, I think she's talking about the spice. Is that what spicy is? How do people enjoy that? It just hurts! I barely even taste the spice. I think we might have discovered I's first weakness. First? Where have you been? Ugh, it's sticking to my tongue! Young, make it stop! Oh, what am I supposed to do? I thought usually, like, you get a glass of milk or something. Go get a glass of milk! That's what you're supposed to help, yes. Oh, look. I'm on the same train of thought as Young. We're in sync. She darts to the fridge and frantically pours herself a glass of milk, spilling some on the counter. I assume I will have to clean it up later. Like I, like I, I, not I, I, you know what I mean? She then pours herself several more and walks them over to the table. <sighs> I thought I was going to lose my mouth. I, that isn't how mouths work. It's obvious I doesn't like the curry, but as always, once she starts something, she needs to see it through to the end. That's fair. Nice. You have a little hard-boiled egg with your curry. That's a little. That's interesting. Mm. Using the extra glasses of milk that may or may not have been poured for you, me, and myself, I winds up reluctantly finishing the curry and ridding the last bit of dairy left in my apartment. <laughs> she lays on the floor, feeling accomplished. Yeah, I think I'll stick to sweet things. But did they, but did they eat the salad? They never said they ate the salad. That was clearly there in the art. I knew you were going to say that. Your place is really cozy, Jung. It's small, but it works. Nothing feels too compact. I'd love to have a place like this. Finally. Someone who understands. Really? I think you should at least have your bed in another room. Maybe set up a proper dining room for guests and stuff. Yeah. That would be... You know, a uh, great idea for all the one time uh, that I've had guests. <laughs> I don't normally have people over either, so I can see where he's coming from. That's fair. Come on, you two. Live a little. YOLO. YOLO. I, I think your internet is showing a little. You may. I like hanging out with you. Don't you like me too? Aw. Yeah, but you're special. Ooh. Special. Careful, I. If you haven't noticed, Yume is a full-on technophile. She could dissect you in half at any moment. <laughs> Honestly, you're lucky to have lived this long. Um, correction. Technophiles such as myself do nothing but appreciate technology. We love it far too much to disassemble it and risk destroying valuable parts. Guys, for the millionth time, please stop treating me like a piece of equipment. Stop objectifying robots. It's not nice. The night carries on like this a little longer. Before we know it, it's time for Yume to leave. Yes, yeah, she better leave. It's pretty dark out. I'll walk you home, Yume. Oh, I'm coming too! Yume agrees without hesitation, and we start towards her house. The streets are quiet, but it's nice. There's no one around but the three of us. Taking some time to breathe in the fresh air, we slowly make our way towards the bakery. I forgot to tell you, Yume. Crump invited us to the beach this weekend. Are you in? You guys are going to the beach with Crump? Yeah, totally. And you're coming too, Young. Wait, what? I mean it. You need to have a beach episode. Well, there goes my weekend. 
Ai suddenly comes to a stop. Her eyes are fixated on the nearby fence. What's up, Ai? Like the fence in the right of the CG? There is no response. I, you may looks at me, and we both shrug at each other. Maybe she sees a ghost or something. Hey, hey, hey! No ghost jokes. Oh, could it be that you're afraid of ghosts? Maybe. Can we drop it now? Keep the paranormal stuff out of this. You always act so mature, but you do have a soft side after all. How cute. Aw, how cute. Please just leave me alone. Aye. <laughs> what you looking at? It's cute. What's cute? The ghost. That big spider is cute. Aw, it's a big spider whiter. Really? You stopped to look at a spider. Come on. Well, I guess she is wearing a shirt with a spider on it, so maybe she likes spiders. We need to bring Yume home and... Wait, where is Yume? I points to a spot behind me. Yume's hands are clinging onto my shirt and softly pulling me away from I. <laughs> she looks even more terrified than I was after hearing about ghosts a minute ago. Oh, could it be you're afraid of spiders? You always act so mature. But you have a soft side after all. How cute. <laughs> it's not funny. Please, anything but spiders. Can we go now? Oh, why not? Here, come look at the little guy. Ew, no. They're creepy and gross and hairy and things with their teeth. <laughs> Something is definitely wrong with you if you think that thing is cute. <laughs> I think we've already have established many of the things that make I abnormal. Hey, who are you calling abnormal? All I'm saying is that normally people find spiders creepy, not cute. Uh, whatever. I still think it's cute, though. We continue towards the bakery with I pouting in the background. Yume seems to be on her guard now, knowing that Spiders inhabit the area. It's pretty funny how quickly she becomes paranoid. When we reach her place, she dashes away, saying goodbye before slamming the door. Wave back. I'm not sure if she saw or not. Young, can we go look at the spider now? <laughs> Hold up, I. What if it's venomous or something? Plus, it might not even be there anymore. Creatures. Move around, you know? Come on, I just want to look. I let out a sigh. Three dots. Fine. Before we're able to get back to the spider, we encounter a familiar face. Toshi! Yeah. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Going for a walk again? Yep. How about you two? We're just walking a friend home. Heading back now. Cool. Oh, Yoon. Have you thought about what time you want to meet up tomorrow? Hmm? Meet up for what? Ah, I guess he hasn't told you yet. I asked Yume to help me out with a robot I'm making. Programming isn't really my strongest suit. Funny, I know a lot about programming robots. <gasps> really? I want to go too! Sure, it's fine by me. What? Why would you want to come to see me program a robot? Just cuz. <laughs> I can't see the harm in it. It'd be fun with her around. See you guys tomorrow. Okay, just text me, young. Call me. I glares at me while Toshi is walking away. Oh, is I jealous? Okay, I can explain. You have a phone number that I don't? Why wouldn't you tell me? Let me copy it. Wait, that's the, the part you're mad about? Oh, I thought she'd be jealous that I'd be, you know, that young would be uh, programming another robot. What do you mean? I just figured they'd be worried about the whole programming another robot thing. Hmm? Why would I be worried about that? I'm just glad you're actually interacting with someone for once. Aww. But, uh, never mind. <laughs> Let's just go home. I wonder how tomorrow will go. I'm kind of worried, to be honest. Part of me wants to convince I to stay back, but I know she won't back down from something like this. I guess I'll leave it up to luck and hope everything turns out okay. And I somehow forgot about the whole spider thing. <laughs> That's good.
Good thing you already made plans for tomorrow. It saves me the effort of having to make them myself. Does that mean I get to sleep in? Nope. Ugh. One day, you will grow to love the peace of mind that comes... That bring, being alone brings. Okay. Young, I know it better than anyone what that feeling is like. Oh. Well, that hurts. Ooh. Ugh. Ouch. Oh, right. I forgot where I came from for a moment. Yeah. That, that, you shouldn't have said that. That's not very nice. I feel terrible. I'm going to have to learn to be more careful with my words from now on. I, I don't want to hurt her feelings. Uh, I'm really, I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't mean it like that. It's okay. I'm going to head to bed now. I had a lot of fun today. Now I just have to recharge and get ready for tomorrow. That's right. Good night, I. I clean up the apartment while I guess changed and heads to bed. I guess I'm gonna have to keep it tidy all the time. Now, in case this roommate of mine decides to bring over any more random visitors. After finishing the dishes, I decide it's best for me to go to sleep as well. Even though I've already gotten more sleep than usual today, the thought of going out again tomorrow makes me exhausted. With I around, I need to rest as much as I can, whenever I can. Reboot. Okay, so I'm gonna... There we go. Yeah, that was a... Okay, we are 30 minutes for this episode. That's good. That was interesting, uh, seeing having them go to the arcade and all that. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll get to see if you, if uh, I doesn't get jealous about programming another robot next time. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.